The other day I ran out of ice. Because I had nothing better to do, or something way more important to distract myself from, I decided to see how fast I could make some using these Peltier coolers I had lying around. I won't bore you with the physics, but they basically create a super cold side when you apply electricity via semiconductors. The other side gets extremely hot, and you have to create a heat sink to draw the heat away and create a large temperature delta. I used some leftover isopropyl alcohol from a wild night to clean everything first. I then sacrificed some points on my nectar card by spreading some gooey thermal paste to stick two modules together. This copper water block came in handy. A bit of scrubbing and it was ready. I used this PC water pump to push distilled water through a large radiator after the block and a high static fan to draw all of the waste heat away from the module. I had to run two different voltages through the individual modules. The bottom one needs more power to draw all of that heat away. Using these buck converters, I set the top at 7 volts and the bottom one at 15. I stuck some foil on the top and ran my first test. And let's see how quickly we can make some ice. There we go. It didn't take long, maybe 10 minutes or so, but I wasn't too happy with the results. So I tinkered with the voltages to get a lower temperature of about minus 36 degrees. Using skills of which resemble a professional heroin addict, I manipulated some foil into a flatter base for a better interface. Watch how fast I turn this water into a nice hockey puck, I guess. Okay, we are done. I will check the start time, but I believe that was about six minutes for the ice cube. Let's check it out. Oh, that is too cold to touch. So I failed at making instant ice. I'm not even sure that's possible with this technology, but it's a lot faster than my freezer. A few days later, I managed to advance my cooling system to minus 50 degrees Celsius. So stay tuned to see how fast this new ice machine can work its magic. Hit that subscribe button, why don't you?